Hi kids, this is Mr. Bickford bringing you the last lesson of chapter 3, lesson 8. Uh, again, this is uh, a lesson where many of you should be showing your work on grid paper to keep things lined up. And this is the last lesson of chapter 3, so you should start reviewing uh, videos, your notes, um, through uh, for lessons 1 through 8. Uh, getting ready for the test which is coming up soon. Uh, today we're going to, our topic is how do you divide decimals by decimals. So we've looked at dividing uh, whole numbers by decimals, we've looked at dividing decimals uh, by whole numbers, and today we're dividing decimals by decimals. Uh, the first problem we're going to solve or evaluate is 1.71 divided by 0 0.9. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this to do long division, so I know that we've talked about this before. The first number always is going to go on the inside. This number is the divisor, and that's going to go on the outside. So it's going to look like this. 0 0.9, how many times does that go into 1.9? Seven, one. So, we're set up to long divide. Uh, these are your steps if you're dividing decimals by decimals. The first step that you want to take is that you want to make the divisor, that's this number out here, you want to make that a whole number. So I'm going to write that right here. Make divisor Make the divisor a whole number. And this is the divisor. So it is 0 0.9. In order to make 0 0.9 a whole number, we are going to have to move it, the decimal point one jump to the right, and then 0 0.9 would turn into a whole number 9. Remember that the decimal uh, in a whole number is to, is to the right side of that number. So right now it's 0 0.9, but if we moved it one jump to the right, it would become a whole number 9. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a highlighter here. So make the divisor a whole number. We want to move the decimal point one jump to the right to make it a whole number. Well, if we do that, we have to match the same number of jumps in the dividend. So I'm going to write that down. Match the jumps in match the jumps in the dividend. So again, this is the divisor. We needed one jump to make it a whole number nine. We have to match the jumps in the dividend. So this took one jump to make it a whole number nine. Now we need to match the jumps in the dividend. One jump to the right, one jump to the right, and then the decimal goes straight up from there. So again, it's really important that you keep things lined up, but the decimal point is going to be right there in our answer. After you get the decimal point where it should be, you can divide using regular long division uh, and following the steps divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. So that's what I'm going to do over here. And I know that my decimal point is going to go right there. Okay, so now I'm dividing like it's 9 into 171. Well, 9 doesn't fit into 1, so I could record a 0 right there. How many 9s fit into 17? If you look at your uh, chart or just count it out, you'll know that 1 time 9 can fit into 17 because 2 9s is 18. doesn't fit. Multiply. 1 times 9 is 9. And then we're subtracting. 17 take away 9 is 8. Is 8 smaller than 9? It sure is, so I can keep going. If I bring down the 1, 
and then I'm back to the top of my steps, divide. How many nines fit into 81? The answer there is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. Subtract. We have nothing left. No more numbers to bring down. And uh, our decimal, again, is right there. So the answer is 1.9. 1.71 divided by 0 0.9. The answer is 1.9. And I'm going to write the steps over here for long division. I'm just going to abbreviate. Does McDonald's sell cheese burgers? And then go make a loop back to the top. That's our steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down, which we've gone over before. All right, let's look at one more example. But before I give you the second example, I'm going to give you today's hidden treasure. And here it is. So today's hidden treasure is this question. A dog pen measures 6 feet by 10 feet and is in the shape of a rectangle. What is the ratio of the area to the perimeter of the dog pen? And your answer must be simplified. Okay, so um, there's your hidden treasure. We'll cover that uh, after the test. The first lesson uh, in Chapter 4, we will go over this hidden treasure. Okay. Okay, moving on. Divide other one more example. We're going to divide 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.0024. Again, the first number if we're going to rewrite it as long division, the first number is going to go on the inside, and this is the divisor. That's going to go on the outside. So dividend, divisor, that's always the pattern. So this time, my setup looks like this. Zero point six divided by point zero zero two four. So going back to my steps, the first thing I want to do is make the divisor a whole number. So right now it's 0 0.0024. I want to move the decimal point all the way over here to make it a whole number 24. So how many jumps does that take? 1, 2, 3, 4. It took 4 jumps to change the divisor into a whole number. I want the decimal point moved all the way to the right. Well. I have to match that on the dividend, four jumps on the dividend. So one, there's one, two, three, four jumps, and then straight up. So notice that I have a bunch of empty or blank jumps, right? I have these empty jumps because I needed four jumps on the inside, one, two, three, four. If you have empty jumps, I think, I think most of you know what to do with those, but you're going to fill those in with zeros. And my decimal point, four jumps to the right, and then straight up, that's where my decimal point belongs. Now I can pretend like this is a 24, I'm ignoring all the decimal points, and I'm going to divide that into 6,000. So again, I'm following my steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. How many times does 24 fit into 0? It doesn't. So I could put a 0 here if I want to. How many 24s fit into 6? Still none. How many 24s fit into 60? Well, now I can fit some 24s. 1 24 is 24. 2 24s is 48. The next one is too much. It goes over 60, so my answer is 2 times. Multiply. 2 times 24 is 48. Subtract. 60, take away 48. Uh, one shortcut I could use is to count up. 48, 48, 49, 50 and then 10 more to get up to 60. So if I subtract those, I have 12. 
is 12 smaller than 24? That's the check. The answer is yes, so I can keep going. Bring down the zero. Back to the top, divide. How many 24s fit into 120? So the answer there is 24, that's 1, 48. Then I can do some mental math. 2 48s is 96, so that's 4 times. 96, if I add 24 onto 96, uh, 4 takes me to 100, and then another 20 takes me up to 120. So I know that the answer is 5 times. 5 times 24 is 120. So when I subtract 120, take away 120, I get 0. Uh, is 0 smaller than 25? The answer is yes. So I bring down the next 0. Back to the top, divide. How many 24s fit into 0? None. So I have to record that 0 right there. Again, this is why it's super important you're using grid paper, keeping everything lined up. You can see how the numbers are directly lined up above each other. And 0 times 24 is 0. Subtract, and we get 0. Now there's no more numbers to bring down, so my answer is 250. 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.0024, the answer is 250. Uh, that does it for divide decimals by decimals. Again, the big idea is move the decimal point first, make the divisor a whole number, move it all the way to the right, count however many jumps. Here it took one, here it took four. Then you have to match the jumps in the dividend. One jump on the dividend, matching this jump. Four jumps on the dividend, matching these four jumps. And then you can divide, pretending there's no decimal points at all. So really it's... Uh, stuff we've already done with long division we've already done and the added thing today is getting the decimal in the right place by doing these two things right here. Uh, that does it for chapter 3 lesson 8. I will see you soon. Uh, for the next lesson we will be starting chapter 4.